Oh, hey guys, uh, real quick here video. Uh, well, I had a small failure with the toilet, the pink color shell, but guess what? It was not the toilet. Does that make any sense? No? What happened, guys, was the uh, flush ball. And I'm going to explain that. Here's what was going on. Uh, it didn't fail because it was leaking. Well, actually, again, it went away. It was. What started happening was um, we were noticing that the toilet kept wanting to run all the time when you flush it. Now, I thought maybe one of the girls kept coming in here and maybe pushing the handle down too hard. So I've got kids, and, you know, kids like to be rough with stuff sometimes. And I thought, well, maybe that's all this. Maybe they're just pushing it too hard. But, uh, no, what was happening, I would took the tank lid off, and then I looked in there, and the, 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 the flush ball was almost all the way down into the seat of it. Water was filling up just to the top of it, but it wasn't the tank wasn't filling. It was all still running out in the bowl. And if I pushed down on this, if I picked it back up and then dropped it, then it would seat back down. So I thought, well, what the heck's going on? So I thought maybe the rod was bent. I thought maybe the chain got out of whack, but nothing was out of, out of place. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but when I went to the hardware store, you can look at this. Uh, this flush, this float ball is actually now out of round. It's kind of, it's not going to pick up very well on the camera, it doesn't look like, but... Uh, you can kind of see how it's wobbly looking there on the end. This is an aftermarket flush ball. Uh, it's like an unbranded one. Um, yeah. And it was new when I put this Kohler Roll shell in here because whenever I had this out in the shop, the thing wants to roll away on me there. Um, you know, when I was rebuilding this toilet out in the shop to make it usable, I had another one of these brand new in the package, so I put it in here. Now I'm going to tell you, with the white Kohler Roll shell I had in here that I had problems with, Right before I took it out to put this one in here, I was having the same problem. Same thing was happening. You'd flush the toilet, you'd walk away, you'd come in 15, 20 minutes later, the toilet would still be running. But yet the flush ball was almost all the way down in the seat. And, it, and what was happening was it was still, um, it was holding, it was getting stuck on the edge of this the, the flush assembly. Because with it being out of round, it was getting caught on the lip of the flush assembly here and holding it open just enough to keep the water from filling up in the tank. It was running out in the bowl. I mean, I did everything. So I went into a local hardware store. Luckily they had these. Uh, these are the triple seal. And uh, that's what I have here on uh, this package here. I'm get the lid off of it here. And uh, this is what they look like. And these are much better, actually. The guy even told me there was an older guy there at this mom-and-pop hardware store. And these have like a metal inside them. They are reinforced. I can't even squeeze the thing. It's metal. It's got metal like mesh inside these. These are reinforced so they don't get out of, out of round or out of shape. These are known to do that. However, um, these, when I bought these, I paid like $4 for these things. And that even included shipping. Um... This one here was like six, almost seven dollars. And this one here was about the same price. Uh, this is a Corky brand of this ball. And this is made better. He, even the guy said these, these are even still made better. The rubber's a little thicker on these than it is with this one. This one's real flimsy. I'm not kidding you. He said you get about two months or so out of these, you're doing good. And that's a, that would be about right for this. So I bought a couple of these that he had left. He's going to get more in. I really like these. When I went ahead and picked up this one, he had one left of these Corky. Now, Kohler makes these, and they'll actually say Kohler on them. And I remember when I went to buy these at that plumbing supply place, I had the option to pay $4 for these when he ordered them in for me, or buy the ones that were in stock already that said Kohler on them, and they were like $12. You know, so being me, I went with the cheaper ones, and, you know, well, you get what you pay for, and that's literally true. Um, these are made better, and the Kohler would even be a step up. So you got your high grade, which would be Kohler, then you have these medium grade Corkies, and these unbranded cheap El Cheapos that a couple of months, and you got to replace them. Then you also have these Triple Seal. So I tend to like these. Like I said, this is reinforced. It's got metal in there. It's kind of like a metal mesh, so they're pretty strong. So just wanted to show that real quick. I already got one in there, and that immediately fixed the problem. No matter how hard you push the handle or you flush, the ball drops back down every time and does not get stuck. I was making sure that the rod wasn't getting hung up or that the diverter wasn't sticking. It was nothing like that. It was just this stupid ball got out around, and it was getting hung up on the uh, lip down there. So... That's all it was. So 
All right, guys, just wanted to kind of point that out, a little bit of lesson on these uh, tank flush balls. So, all right, guys, well, there you go. Thanks for watching.